Hi there. So um, I am still tinkering with my two meter FT8 antenna. Um, I actually sighted it now on top of the tripod that came with my super antenna kit, uh, increasing the height of it probably by about another meter and a half or so. So it is actually getting up there. Uh, I can't, I guess what we're talking about, seven, I don't know, 10, 11 meters above the ground, something like that. Anyway, so um, another meter and a half from the way it was set up uh, yesterday and the day before. Um, the actual antenna itself is now my homebrew collinear, but I think I explained that previously. Um, it was actually in the loft and I'd forgotten about it. Fabricated from um, welding rod. Um, and so this is basically the most optimum setup so far, although it is leaning at a slight angle. Um, close the door because today which is Tuesday after the bank holiday Monday in the sun the sun is really hot but the air temperature is very cold um, but basically so this is now the picture from today and one of the first contacts or decodes um, from today was here in Calais uh, by uh, Foxtrot 5 Alpha Papa Quebec, um, but also um, I was, this is from, actually I need to increase the, this is from six hours, I think this has been going longer than six hours, so I need to update this to 12, because I was also copied in near Cork, so there you go, that's better, so that's the sort of full map of today, and I'm still going actually, so I've been going for seven hours, um, 44 reports to seven hours, it's not like, these aren't HF FT8 numbers, but this is two meters and there are way fewer monitors that, I mean, this, I've seen this number in sort of two digits and less. So, um, but I'm pretty pleased with that. Definitely my signal on average, I think is, is getting out further. Um, I've been decoded twice now on the continent. So France today, uh, yesterday or the day before I was decoded in Southern uh, Holland. In fact, I'll tell you what, it was the first decode after putting the, the new antenna up. Um, but closer to the ground, so um, not been decoded anywhere else today. Uh, uh, wet, uh, east, sorry, in that direction. So just one decode on the continent. But nevertheless, um, it to me it feels like progress. And um, uh, but on average, yeah. So we're going seven hours, forty-four decodes. It's not many decodes an hour. And what you find is that these repeat over and over again. So I mean, I, I've been decoded by this French. Uh, operator several times today the last time was four hours ago but um uh, but that's okay um i'm gonna keep going uh it's just uh if i go to 24 hours is there any more yeah so that's 24 hours from yesterday as well but if i go back to 12 um it's just an interesting thing to have running in the background you don't really have to do anything just click refresh the map every now and then um enable tx every now and then on um, WSJTX um, and you can be a ham radio operator whilst you're in the middle of doing more important stuff like your job um, and my job at the moment is incredibly busy so uh, yeah I'm, uh, uh, I'm, 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 I'm quite happy uh, to be doing FT8 on two meters. The trouble with HF is that it's too easy it's not too easy the difficult part as i've always said is in setting the kit up but it is easy once it's set up to just make contacts all over the world with low power which is great if you're particularly if you're a foundation license holder because you know you can go you know you can cover the world or with it on a narrow band digital mode transmission with 10 watts um but once you've made hundreds a thousand qso's uh on fta it does get a bit samey so uh set hay waiting for a lift on two meters is now sort of a bit more interesting for me really um so yeah so there you go so that's my ft8 uh activities from today whilst i've been basically working from home again um and uh, yeah although these are terrible times you know absolute horrendous um uh, you know what's going on at the moment um to be able to work from home and you know keep working is really important but at the same time um you know contributing to uh you know to keeping everybody to keep myself safe keeping family safe friends etc work colleagues uh, and be able to do a bit of radio 
all the better as far as I'm concerned. So uh, um, I said it before, it's, uh, you know, one of the, it's a brilliant hobby to have for times such as these. So there you go. Okay, well, thanks for watching.